black sock. Oh, what is that? A uh, brick. He definitely missed that shot. He has uh, the typical non hooping outfit. You are a man. Shut the fuck up. Nigga. Do you got something you want to say? Oh. Don't worry about me. I'm a god. After weeks of silence, Adore finally releases promotional material for New Jeans' first comeback. A double single album including Ditto as a pre release MOMG as the final title set for a month long release. Like with their debut, Adore challenges the standard gay pop release format by opting for motion graphics rather than a stagnant image to introduce the era. We are treated to the new jeans of winter through five promotional graphics, each as equally eye-catching as the last. As with their stunning 40-plus lineup, new jeans logo receives a beautiful cursive revamp against the stitching of a blue fabric. This is meant to resemble the design patterns of quilts, fitting for the season of winter in which we are celebrating with the girls. We are briefly greeted to an orange jumping bunny, the brief pause giving the overall design this tag on the back of a winter coat feel. The next logo animation is more with a style we are familiar with from the Fife Sun thus far. We are treated to the classic blue and white gradient design that carried the heart of their debut look. This gradient combo in particular was popular with late 90s web design, the same aesthetic that New Jeans' main website is based on. The sparkles in the back add to this almost gif-like feel teetering on edge of a MySpace profile background. This unique mix of old school meets new allows for a new vibrant twist not only for new jeans art direction but also for a Christmas, winter design as well. Sandwiched in between, we are greeted to a moving lyric poster, once again showcasing Adore's design team's desire to take standard formulas and flip it on its head in engaging ways for their audience. Ditto is described as a song to celebrate the first winter with bunnies, the design of the moving lyric poster reminded me of a storybook, with more monotone inked pages, titles and elaborate script and accompanying words sans serif text. Needless to say, it's the complete opposite to their now iconic Neo Y2K approach for debut. Could this be intentional? Recently, New Jeans had a photo shoot with W Korea with a creative direction led by their CEO and producer, Min Hee Jin. The photo shoot was titled Winter Wonderland and the same logo revealed today could be found on the bottom right hand corner of the cover. The styling of the photo shoot along with its name led many to believe that concept for this upcoming comeback will be Alice in Wonderland inspired. For those who are Rev Loves and or Moose, looking through this photo shoot would immediately remind you of Red Velvet's Happiness and FX's new ABO, both projects a part of Minhejin's large portfolio. New Jeans concept revolves around the youth of the girls and their viewpoint in the world, as does Alice in Wonderland. In Alice in Wonderland, we see Alice, a child, trying to make sense of her surroundings, which are actually, nonsensical on purpose. We see her express frustration in her surroundings, given that she's the only one who seems to make any sense. The unpredictability of Wonderland is meant to match our world and how oftentimes we're thrown a curveball and struggle to make sense, Rhyme more reasoning when it comes to decisions that feel bigger than ourselves. By the end, she comes out more mature than before and with some newfound confidence to handle the real world. It's very easy to see how this age-old tale could be molded into a modern age context for new jeans, who like Alice, are currently trying to navigate through a hectic world and deal with their own teenage emotions in comparison to it. However, all of this could simply just be a reference, which is a common theme in Min Hee Jin's work. She'll often reference movies to pay homage to works she found inspiration in, though the aesthetic does not go beyond further meaning. It would all depend on which Alice in Wonderland media she would be referencing here. If it's recent pop culture, it could possibly be the live-action remake. The first thing that comes to mind is the line you're crazy, you're bonkers, you're out of your mind but I tell you what, all the best people are something around those words. The only reason I remember it is because of Melanie Martinez. Anyways, the line is meant to be empowering for those who skirt on the outside of what's societally acceptable and finding power in difference. Like Red Velvet and FX, both manage to be different from their peers in their generation and introduce or reintroduce in some cases, ideas and genres that don't play it safe. 
This was awesome then he Jin's main objective with new jeans and the Wonderland breadcrumbs could be simply just be a nod to that. The final two promotional designs contrast each other with both having a snowman but one in 2D and the other rendered in 3D. The design of the card is meant to resemble a holiday postcard as the girls detail what's to come from the package. If I wasn't smarter, I'd assume that the album packaging will each match one of a present or a storybook. It is worth noting that throughout these, the main color palette used has been blue, red and now orange. Blue is New Jeans' main color, while red is heavily associated with the holiday season. However the pick of orange is a new introduction to New Jeans' cyber aesthetic. This could simply be Audor's design team wanting to showcase color theory, with the vibrant orange popping against the true blue. Orange is typically seen as a color of optimism and positivity, both things New Jeans champions for in opposition of becoming blue. Basically, this could be a way to visually communicate warmth to bunnies through what is a cold season. With the design elements feeling like a Yule special, the seemingly Alice in Wonderland breadcrumbs and the Japanese-inspired Y2K winter styling they've donned at their recent award appearance, needless to say, we are in for an interesting start to the winter. Who the fuck is this? Oh, That's it, okay? That's all I gotta say.